In this problem, we're going to do a truth table for this statement. So we have three variables here, P, Q, and R. So we'll start by listing all of the possible truth values for P, Q, and R. So we have P, Q, and R. So each of these statement variables can either be true or false. So let's start with the simplest case where they're all true. So true, true, true. And the way I like to do this is to strategically insert uh, false into one of these. So let's make the last one false. So true, true, false. And now let's keep looking at all of the cases where exactly one of these is false. So another case might be if we move the false to the middle position here. So this will be true, false, true. And the very last case would be if false is in the first position. So false, true, true. So what we've essentially done so far is we've looked at the case with none being false. We've looked at all the cases where exactly one is false. Now let's look at the case where exactly two are false. So that would be true, maybe false, false. Another possibility might be false, false, true. And the last possibility where exactly two are false would be false, true, false. Just a nice way to make sure that you don't miss any possibilities. And the very last case is the case where they're all false. So just false, false, false. We should have eight possibilities. That's because there are two choices for P, two choices for Q, two choices for R. So by something called the multiplication rule, there are two times two times two. So two to the three equals eight choices for possible truth values for PQR. And indeed, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we need to think about how to construct our statement. So we're going to need to work up to this statement by writing the smaller uh, substatements. So let's start by looking at not P. And we've already got Q. Uh, looks like we're going to need not R. And then we need Q or not R. So Q or not R. And now we have everything necessary to construct the final statement. So let's go ahead and put that at the end. So that would be not P and Q or not R. Beautiful stuff. Let's go ahead and fill in this table. And we'll just do one column at a time. So for not P, we simply have to um, look at the column where P is and take the negation. So that means we just take the opposite truth value. So the opposite of true is false, then we have false again, and then false again. Here the opposite of false will be true, the opposite of true is false, the opposite of false, false. So the rest are false, so they're all going to become true, so t, t, t. For not r, we do the same thing. We look at the column that has the truth values for r, and we just negate each truth value. So true becomes false. Then this one becomes true, and then false, false, looks like true, false, and the last two are false, so they will become true. Okay, Q or not R, we have to be a little bit careful here, so I'm going to use a, a different color here to identify what we're looking at. So we're going to look at Q and not R, okay, we're looking at these two columns. And Q or not R will be true when at least one of these is true. So if we get one true, it's true. The only way it will be false is if both of them are false. So in this case, you have Q true, not R false. So that means it's true. That's because Q is true. In this case here, they're both true. So true. In this case here, oh, look, false, false. They're both false. This is the only case when it's false, when they're both false. We get a true here, so that's going to be true. This is false, but look, we have a true here for not R, so this is true. Oh, look, they're both false, so it's false. They're both true in this case, so it's true. In this case, not R is true, so Q is false, but this is true, so it's true. As long as we have one true, it's true. And the only time that um, it's false is if they're both false. So we had this case here and this case here, and it looks like this case here, and this case here. And in the last cases, just to be clear, I'll underline it. So true, true gave us true, 
false, true gave us true. So everything looks okay. Yeah, looks good. The last case we have to look at not P and Q or not R. So this will only be true when they are both true. Otherwise, it's false. So we're looking at, let's see, we're looking at, I'm going to put it in a box. We're looking at not P, just so our eyes go to the right place. And we're looking at this expression here. Okay, looking at these two columns, which I've uh, boxed in in yellow. So it'll only be true when both are true. If one of them is false, the whole thing is false. So here, right away, we see that the not P is false. So it's false. Not P is false, so it's false. They're both false, so it's definitely false. Oh, look at this. True, true. So they're both true, so it's true. We get some falseness, some falseness, so false, false. Both true, true. And at the end again, both true, true. So that would be the truth table for this expression here. A little bit of a more challenging problem. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.